No, they're not kaiju, nor are they prehistoric, but I like to do something for Jim Henson's birthday each year, so here's my 2022 offering. Cheers. Hello! Today on Thirsty Thursday Toys, we have the Diamond Select Bunsen and Beaker set and a couple of shots inspired by the characters. For these two Muppet Labs shots, you'll need a green melon liqueur, peach schnapps, orange juice, grenadine, corn syrup, and orange sugar. For our Bunsen Honeydew shot, Start with a half ounce of that green melon liqueur. Mix in a half ounce of peach schnapps. Then mix in a quarter ounce of OJ. Stir it all up and pour it into your shot glass. For the beaker shot, take a shooter glass or other tall shot glass and dip the rim in some corn syrup. Roll that in some orange sugar and there you have his hair. For the drink itself, start with a quarter ounce of OJ. Add in somewhere between a drop and a splash of grenadine, simply for the color. Then add in one and three quarters of an ounce of peach schnapps, or otherwise fill it up until you've reached two ounces. Mix that all together and pour it into your shooter glass. If you want to make multiple shots, just scale up the recipe and dole them out into your glasses. Otherwise, enjoy. Cheers! It's my understanding that these sets have been re-released, so I'm not sure if this is the original or if there are any differences between this and the original, but this is still one sweet set. I got this on Amazon for 25 bucks and I think it's well worth the money. Inside we have our clear plastic tray along with a little ad for most of the other figures in the lineup and those pint glasses. I only have the Muppet Labs one that I used in my Easy Bee and Green cocktail video, but I gotta get some more of these. In the tray we have plenty of accessories, which include a table, a set of vials, some kind of mortar and pestle, an Erlenmeyer flask, a Florence flask, a telephone, and a clipboard with blueprints for an automatic waste basket. Then, of course, we have our two Muppet Labs scientists themselves, though I'm not sure what's going on with Beaker's hair here. It wasn't clear from the Amazon listing whether or not this set actually came with the accessories, but lo and behold, here they are. The table has some kind of wood grain printed on it. It's not super prominent, and I would have preferred it to be sculpted in, but you know what? It's fine. I also wish the flasks were cast in a translucent plastic instead of painted white, but it's not the end of the world either. I've got plenty of other mini glasses and things that they can use. The mini vials don't come out of their holder, but I'm okay with that since I would probably lose them if they did. Now their hands aren't really designed for gripping these objects, except for the clipboard. That fits perfectly into Bunsen's left hand. Now don't let these initial criticisms sour you on this set. Check out this articulation. Bunsen Honeydew has a double ball jointed neck. The rod looks a little thin to me, but the range of motion is great. He has full rotation in the shoulders, and there's enough of a gap where his shoulders fit in his coat to not impede his movements. Surprisingly, his elbows have ratcheting joints as well as full 360 rotation, and his wrists have full 360 rotation as well. He does have joints in his hips and knees, and while his coat is a flexible rubber, it can only go so far. He then has multiple ankle joints to round out his articulation. Beaker has that same double ball jointed neck, and I'm satisfied with how well he can look up and down. He has a good range of articulation in his shoulders, and his coat is a flexible rubber so that it shouldn't be in the way. He can bend his elbows a little bit, but he does have full rotation in both his elbows and his wrists. Additionally, there is another joint in his wrists, but it's not the most useful since his sleeves kind of get in the way. He has a joint in the waist, and a decent range of articulation in the hips that's only inhibited by his coat. His knees have two points of articulation, allowing for a better bend, as well as a couple of joints in the ankle. Awesome. I'm assembling the Muppet cast slowly but surely. Not sure who to get next. For now, I'd say they scale pretty well with the Amber Collection figures. But I mean, if you've got a Jurassic Muppet combo display, I'm sure scaling is not the biggest concern. These guys are great. For the accessories and articulation that we get for only 25 bucks, these guys are well worth it. Plus, I feel like you could display them with anything. Now I'm tempted to get that San Diego Comic-Con explosion set. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, and all that goodness that helps out the channel. Wish you good luck on your figure hunt, and remind you to please drink responsibly.